sometimes in wrestling, you actually got to give the fans what they want, you know? And the fans wanted this right. match. And I figured, why not? Like, what's going to happen, right? Like, how, like, unless I die, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> and uh, I went in there. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm sure I'm going to bleed a little bit. Let me wear all white. I'll get a couple of trickles of blood on me. I did not imagine that my white shirt would turn completely red. I did not imagine how violent it would get. Like I told myself before, like, there's no way I'm doing that pizza cutter bullshit. No way I'm going through glass. But Chris, you were in there with Nick. Like when you're in there, Nick Gage is going to make you do things you don't want to do. So I, I got mm-hmm. the pizza cutter, went right. through the glass, but I don't regret any of it. Like it's a week and a half later. There's still blood coming out of my back. I have to go to an urgent care after this because I think my back is infected. But, like, I don't regret a single second of it because, oh, man, I felt so alive in there. Because for so long, I was this white meat baby face. And at the end of the day, I still am. Like, I haven't changed who I am, but that audience doesn't like me for me. And I get to, you know, just kind of say, F- you a little bit. It's fun. I love it. I love it. See, but the thing about it that, that I really enjoy it, it, about the fact that you did it was you mentioned, yeah, there's a certain type of vibe for Matt Cardona and, you know, L.I., woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> the guy who, you know, as Conan would say, plays with his toys on a podcast <laughs> and all that stuff. But you're also a veteran wrestler at this point. And I think one of the best things about – we, I think we talked about this when, when, when you and Brian came on the show last time – about being let go from WWE is now that you, there's no more chains or restrictions or boxes that you have to be in. And as soon as I heard, you know, Cardona and Nick Gage, I was like, this is really smart for you because it's a reinvention, which then adds a different dimension to your character and more importantly gives you more diversity, which in turn will give you more longevity. 100%, Chris. I mean, not to kiss your ass, but you are the king of reinventing yourself and you know everything about longevity. And uh, yeah, absolutely. I saw this as an opportunity for myself and not to... Now, I say this all the time. I don't care about proving people wrong, but I want to prove myself right, and I want to prove right. the, the, my fans right, whether they were fans of the Major Brothers or the Ed Sheds or the YouTube Day, whatever, or sure, the Major Brothers of your podcast. I want them to know, like, hey, like, I root for this guy, and, and I made the right choice. And uh, this is going to sound cocky, but I don't give a shit. Like, I dare you to find somebody who's been counted out by this business more times than me and has come back. And, um, you know, I just keep coming back and coming back and coming back because I love this business. I am, I am the cockroach of the wrestling business. I don't mean that in a bad way. Like you just can't kill me. You're not going to get rid of me because I might not, you know, I might, I might die not ever being a top wrestling star, but I'm going to die trying. Well, and, you know, and, and you almost did die, <laughs> almost did in six, <laughs> but now you're, you're the GCW champion. And once again, I really appreciated the fact that you did that. And also, too, the guys in GCW and Nick Gage and, and I don't know if it's Brett Lauderdale or whatever in bringing you in because it's money. That's what wrestling is. It reminded me of kind of mid-90s ECW when they're this certain type of world of like, we're the most hardcore of wrestlers. And then Jerry Lawler shows up right. and gets major heat because you're not one of us. And meanwhile, Lawler knows exactly what to do to get the reaction that he wants and that's kind of what you did yeah like i'm calling these these people the gcw universe and they hate it so i just keep doing it more <laughs> and listen I, I knew i was gonna get hated i knew if i won this match that listen i thought there'd be a couple bottles thrown i didn't realize what was going to happen if you if you watch the footage people were throwing pizza cutters at me chris like that's wow that's where you, that's where i draw the line you know like when you throw a pizza cutter at me, like <laughs> some of these fans listen they, they know it's a show and they're like they, they want to they want to boo me because it's fun, but some people genuinely hate me. There were some like weirdos with Zack Ryder action figures like hanging by like nooses. Like I'm like, what is this? Is you're a real human being? Like you're you're out in public? Like you don't care if this on social media? Yeah. Like that's the scary part. What well, did you say too? Like uh, I don't know if you got death threats. But yeah. Your fiance like, listen, got death threats. I, and people were like, I hope they that Nick Gage kills Macaroni, kills Chelsea Green, like. I don't know, are they serious or not? Because they're really putting us out there. Yeah, and, and the thing that was cool too was, was once again, I mean, when I first saw it, because you came in and you kind of tell the story of almost mimicking John Moxley. Yes. And then you unmask and it's Matt Cardona. Now, take it 
in consideration where we were at the time, whether that was a month ago or whatever, you're like, what is he doing? Like, he's going to get so much heat for this. And then you're like, oh, he's going to get so much heat yes, for this. Yes, I guess. Yes. So kind of tell the idea of, of, of how that came about. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the plan was I was going to go in there and, and just do – I don't know if it was going to be a, a one-time deal or a two-time deal. Let's just let's now at this point let's see where it goes. And now I'm the champ, so now now I'm here for a while. But I I I don't want to be you know I'm not going to turn into like mean guy Matt Cardo. I'm me, and the people just hate me for being me. Right. And and yes, of course I'll evolve a little bit and show a little bit of an attitude. Uh, but the the response I got from doing the Moxley thing and laying him out, like I knew it would be like kind of buzzworthy but i didn't realize the buzz it was going to get i'm like oh man we're really onto something here so i just need to play this up until this homecoming match and be the biggest douchebag i can on social media and and i I knew if i won this match like i said i knew there was going to be a negative reaction which i love you know like that like going back you watch the video it's so to me it's cool like people throw bottles pizza cutters whatever i did not imagine that we would be number one, trending number one over UFC and the Olympics. So, you know, it's GCW, Macro and Zack Ryder all trending number one. I mean, because at the end of the day, GCW, is a, it's an independent promotion, you know, and it was trending number one over UFC and over the Olympics. And, you know, I am proud of that. 